right guys i didn't know this good morning i didn't know this but cfi has a drop yard here in el paso so they gave me my next load i gotta go to el paso uh, i get to el paso then i pick that load up and then i head to kansas city but we gotta go get live unloaded first so that'll be fun but once we get live unloaded then we'll be uh headed back home well, we ended up getting one of the easiest uh, spots to back into. Uh, like, actually the easiest one. Um, so we got pretty lucky there. Hopefully that door doesn't swing out. That kind of scares me. I should just get out and go shut those doors. I don't really want to hold up traffic, but I don't want to take this guy's mirror off either. So, hold on. As I was saying, we had like the easiest spot to back into. Like honestly, like that place sucks because it was right off the road, which is not a busy road. But um, one of the doors are lined up with a curb right in front of it. And I'm like, that's going to blow someone's tire if they weigh a crap ton. Like. But anyways, it's 106 degrees here in El Paso, Texas. Uh, we're headed down to the CFI drop yard. It said something about a guard, but I kind of believe that there's not a guard there. So we're just gonna um, head on over that way. And then maybe we'll have to use our badge to get in or something. But I don't know, there might be a guard just because of like the location of the yard. But like the one in Charlotte, it's just, uh, you know, you just wave or no. You enter like a specific number into the Qualcomm. Like, but like Kansas City, I guess, like there's no guard. And I mean, Joplin, there's a guard. But like Kansas City, you just pull up, wave your ID, and then you're good to go. So we got seven and a half miles till we get to the CFI yard. Uh, then we're gonna drop this Transport America. And I looked at the trailer number we're supposed to be getting. I forgot it already, but I know it's a four series. So it's gonna be a CFI trailer. And then we're gonna head over to the nearest truck stop. Unless like the bills say it weighs like 12,000 pounds or like 20,000. But we'll uh, head over to the nearest truck stop if it's like 32,000 plus and get it scaled to make sure we're legal. And then we're gonna be headed towards Kansas City. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm really gonna like not drive too hard. Like I'll probably drive like 500 and 500. So, uh, but yeah, so that would be fun. And then I'm gonna, I'll probably be in Kansas City late night, uh, soon, maybe a day or two. And when I get to Kansas City, I'm probably just gonna stay in the truck the first night since I'll be getting back so late. And then I might go see a couple movies the next day because I've been wanting to see that Top Gun, the Buzz Lightyear, and that new Elvis movie came out. So there's three movies I wanna go see pretty bad right now. So I'm gonna have my hands tied up with those when I'm on home time.
that's the first time I've ever seen the wall. That's the American-Mexican border wall right there. Uh, that's I'm like 90% sure that's what that is right there. Yeah, it is. But it's kind of cool. It's rusty. It's definitely rusty, but we're literally on the Mexico border right now. So that's crazy. Alright guys, we finally made it out of El Paso. We're on Highway 54 north, uh, northeast bound. Um, like I said, we're uh, headed towards uh, Missouri. Um, and I, only, I don't really like driving on highways just because there's always like, you have intersections like this where you gotta come to a stop like every so many miles. Sometimes you'll get a good stretch of like 20 miles where there's no lights, but see this one's yellow, so then it's gonna take forever to get back up to speed. But uh, it was like 50 miles shorter to go this way than go back the way I came on the interstate. So I was like, uh, I'm gonna just go this way. It'd be easier, uh, less miles. Um, and plus I get to have Popeyes here in four hours and 40 minutes while I take my 30. So I got nine hours to drive today, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive that many because it's 149 right now, which it's actually two, or no, it's 149 central. That's where we're headed, and if you add nine hours to that, 11 o'clock at night, you're not going to find very many parking spots at 11, so uh, I think we're going to probably call it quits after, we'll probably call it quits around like 8 o'clock, so we got about seven hours left to drive, and then tomorrow we'll literally be like pushing it to get to where we're headed, so, but it is what it is, that's what happens when you have deliveries that are scheduled later in the morning. So we stopped at this TA in Santa Marisa, New Mexico. I'm pretty sure that's what the town name is. I kind of think I remember it, but I'm not sure. Um, so we stopped here, got Popeyes. Uh, I hadn't had Popeyes in a while and I passed this place the other day, but it was too early in the morning for me to stop. I'd only driven like an hour and a half and I looked at my route ahead of time to see like where I could stop for today and Sure enough, Popeyes was on the list. So we drove about five hours this morning and then we got to this Popeyes and now we got about another, oh crap. Now we got about another uh, three hours to go. Um, and then I'll leave two hours and 55 minutes left on our clock. And I think we're just gonna stop for the day there because that will put us within range of being able to reach Kansas City. But we're about, two hours away from where we're stopping for the night. Um, I'm sure a lot of you that f subscribe to me have seen Riding with Dave. Um, and I, part of the reason I came to CFI was I wanted to meet Dave. And as soon as I got my CDL and got to Joplin, his Jeep was there and a week later he quit and went local. Uh, but I'm friends with him. I'm not friends with him. I follow him on Snapchat and he was at orientation again for CFI the other day. So he'll be coming back. So hopefully I can bump into him here before too long. Um, I don't think he's in Joplin though. It didn't look like the Joplin terminal. I'm guessing he's probably in Atlanta. I think Atlanta has orientation, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Atlanta. I think he probably went to Atlanta for orientation. So I think he's from Mississippi. But then at the same time, it might be closer for him to come to Joplin so who knows but I do want to meet Dave really bad uh, that's part of the reason I came to CFI other than all the good stuff I've heard about CFI uh, but you know if I get to meet Dave uh, I'll definitely post it on YouTube if if he's cool with it I don't want to like I mean he's built his fan base I don't want to like steal you know his you know stuff like you know he did all that work himself so I'm not trying to get a shout out or anything but it'd be kind of cool just to like be like look who I found you know like but if he's not cool with it then that's fine by me started this morning in Texas we went to New Mexico and drove through New Mexico and now we're back in Texas <laughs> oh my god those roads were so bad so bad all right good thing we're in Texas though these roads are gonna be better uh, we're gonna stop in Texas for tonight at a loves um, you know, obviously get this video edited, upload it. We're getting really close to 200 subscribers. You know, once we hit 100, it kind of slowed down and I was kind of bummed out. Mm -hmm. Those people were uh, doing the air pump, I got them for them. 
<laughs> uh, but you know little kid over there pumping his arm you got to do it so uh but yeah so we're gonna get stopped get this video uploaded for you guys um i've been trying to make the videos a little bit longer but i just feel like i talk too much sometimes and like talking too much would steer people away from the videos and i'm trying to keep my audience retention up um because the more audience retention the more my video is shown to the public so this is like the third time i pass this but there's like these like little things sticking up pointing to the sky uh just west of armorello there's like a loves and i don't know what the they are or what the heck excuse me <laughs> i don't know what they are but there's always a ton of cars parked out in front so i'm gonna try to figure it out tonight because like i don't know like it draws in so many people that like i may stop sometime and try them i don't know what they are they could be like pumpkin launchers i'm not sure but they look like they're a lot of fun and there's always like 10 cars at least parked outside. I stop at for the night. Um, hopefully there's some parking here. <laughs> it is 10 o'clock at night, so we're gonna find out here in a second. This definitely looks like it's an old loves. I cheated there a little bit. I probably could have got it in there, but I just said, you know what? If I just pull up and use all that room, I can just set up a good straight back. And there's nothing wrong with cheating as long as it's involving trucking, not a relationship. Right, guys like always make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for content tomorrow I hope you're not planning to waste my time to my surprise that was her reply now your vibe